Oh, hey guys, Tim at the Boathouse. Today we're gonna go a quick little run through on the brand new 2019 290 Crown Line XSS. This is their introduction into pointy bow, but still giving you all the creature comforts of a deck boat. Number one, giving you all the space up front. You're taking people with you. You don't wanna sit on each other's laps. This gives you plenty of room to still be stretched out. Tons of comfortable room but come into a pointy bow instead of the wide bow. Now what's nice with the pointy bow, this one comes with a through stem anchor windlass. So no more ladder off the front, no more box inside to hold the ladder. It's all done with your electric windlass through stem right off the bow of the boat. While we're still in the bow area, part of those creature comforts is gonna be your fold down armrests. And when I still talk about plenty of room, no better seat than what's up here right now. Two forward facing, nice reclining angle, two fold down armrest, and again, tons of leg room. So it can stretch out, just be comfortable or work on that tan. Fold them up to get them out of the way. You need storage. Did I mention this has tons of storage? Come check this out. All four of these cushions give you ample storage. And again, you'll see the gray liner inside. Don't forget that gray liner is gator liner. Easy to clean, does not promote any mold growth or mildew. Good sound deadening, in addition to all that convenient storage. Like most of the Crown Lines now, also nice convenient fender or bumper storage. Don't have to worry about putting them inside the boat somewhere, wondering where they are. This is deep enough for two fenders right at your fingertips. And as usual, walk through breezeway door. Close this up. You just want to keep some of the wind off of you block some air, but you can also do that with your bow cover. This boat does come with your bow cover and cockpit cover. So this door is good to have in a pinch. Otherwise, if you're still going on a cold, windy, rainy day, leave your bow cover on, close this windshield up. You have all the wind and rain protection of a small cuddy cabin. Nice days like today, we yank this off, use the whole boat. For those of you on the boat that might need a little emergency stop, does have a nice large head compartment, vacuum flush toilet, nice Corian countertop, nice upgraded bowl sink. This is nicer than some of the bathrooms I've seen in some houses lately. This is a nice head compartment, but does have a window, does have a light. So if someone who needs that emergency stop, you have it. Dual facing captain's chairs with your dual fold up bolsters. What's nice with that on this one? If you like to drive standing up, gives you enough room to stand behind the wheel without being crammed against it. Got your tilt steering. You want to sit up and be above the windshield, sit on your bolster seat. Gives you tons of vision over the windshield. But if you want to see through the windshield, this will drop you down perfectly where you're literally looking through the center of the windshield. You're not staring out the frame of the windshield. Again, adjust your wheel, adjust your seat up to where you can reach the pedals. You're good to go for anybody who wants to drive. For over here, same thing for your passenger. If they just want to be able to sit up, see a little more, sit up on top of the bolster, gives you plenty of height. Otherwise, drop it down. More comfortable seating for some wind deflection if it's a little chilly outside. While that person is sitting over here, they do have a 12 volt plug-in, so they need to plug in their cell phone. Anything that would require 12 volt power, you do have a plug-in for it here, as well as a little lockable glove box. Back to the person driving the boat. Everything's ergonomically set up on the dash. Easy to read, nothing's hard to find. Behind this nice little cover here, we have a nice Raymarine depth finder GPS combo color. All flush mount in the dash. When you're not using it, nice protective cover just to help keep your things safe and clean. In addition to the windlass, this boat also has trim tabs. 
electric Lenco trim tabs with indicators and they auto retract up. So every time you shut the key on or off, they automatically start back at zero so you're not starting out in a weird pitch. Another 12 volt at the dash as well. So if you're doing any nighttime boating, you need to plug in your uh, handheld spotlight, you got a spot for it. Not a whole lot of switches on the dash, which still keeps it easy, but the ones that are here are, are marked for what they're for. Easy to see, they all have lights on them, so if you're at nighttime, you can turn them on and see exactly what is in front of you on the dash. This one has a nice upgraded kicker stereo system, nice AM, FM, Bluetooth. This one happens to have six speakers on it, uh, which is gonna sound phenomenal if you like your music. As you get towards the stern of the boat, like most other Crown Lines, we have the nice comfortable bench seat in the back, but this is an electric backrest that can be moved back this direction to sit off the back of the boat for some sunset cocktail cruising. If you want to be out on a nice day today, catch some sun, lay this down flat, this whole area will open up to give you a nice sun lounge area. In this position here, if you need more storage, check out the trunk. Any of this stuff you don't want with you out here has a nice easy spot to live in without being in the way, but still easy to get to. Held up with two large stainless steel gas shocks so it's all hands-free operation. As simple as locking it back down in place. We move to this side, built-in cooler storage. So you have a spot for your cooler. Again, it's not gonna be taking up storage from somewhere else. Dedicated cooler storage comes with the cooler already. Nice, easy access. All stainless steel cup holders. Oh, did you say you needed more storage? Take your pick. Got more storage. Access back under this compartment here is your battery switch. Easy access, it's up towards the top, so it's out of the elements, but it's still easy to get to. You're not reaching all the way down to the floor. But again, huge amount of storage here. Again, has the gray uh, gator liner for your sound deadening and easy to clean. Tables. Comes with one table, but you have two stainless steel bases. So I can set the table up here for around the aft seating area. There's also one in the bow, so if everybody's congregating up front, set your table up, have plenty of room to enjoy your lunch up on the bow of the boat as well. self bailing cockpit. What's nice with this is still running along the lines of a deck boat. You're still getting all that versatility of a deck boat, but you're getting the looks of a conventional bow rider style boat. And that's where this one comes in. Having your pointy bow, you tend to lose a lot of the space up there. They did a very good job of keeping everything open up there, but still giving you that sleek look of a pointy bow, go fast style looking boat, which is what this happens to be. So tons of convenience up front, still have the style of a bow rider, still have the floor which is all self bailing like your conventional deck boats still giving you the head compartment all the seating all the storage but the key is it's still an outboard so the key with the outboard is still giving you your shallow draft i can still take and run this boat up into very shallow water especially how we boat around here islands beaches restaurants restaurants not typically a problem but you want to get some of those off the beaten path areas hit the restaurants easy hit the islands and the beaches, some of those may not have enough water for some conventional stern drive boats. This gives you the option to get a whole lot closer uh, without having to stick way offshore and swim to shore. So outboard is gonna be nice, super quiet, still plenty of punch for this boat. And this one happens to have the 350 Suzuki four stroke outboard on it, uh, doing the nice color combo with the white and the silver to kind of go with the motif of the boat, which is kind of cool too. This particular boat has the arch on it. The arch is gonna give you a much more solid support for your bimini top. This is all stainless steel hardware with your umbrella material, but being attached to the arch, just a whole lot more solid feel to it. But if you need to lay this down, it is an electric arch. So with the push of a button, I can push this down. This will fold forward. So if you need to either do some long distance trailering, or you just have a super low bridge to go under, or you're gonna store it somewhere who doesn't have a lot of height, I can fold this top up, lower this down, and get rid of an easy three, four feet. So just another nice feature. Don't have to manhandle it. Basically, this push of a button. Snap in, snap out flooring. It's kind of cool because if those days you're not gonna be in and out of the boat. This just gives it a different look to the boat, a different feel to the boat. A um, Little softer than walking on a fiberglass non-skid finish. So it, it's much softer, but still has a non-skid finish to it. And it's not gonna get hot when it's sitting out in the summertime. So you got your shoes off, walking around barefoot, 
just a much nicer surface to, to walk on. If you know you're gonna be in and out of the boat a lot during the day, it is in sections. I can take every bit of this out and just do the fiberglass finished floor, or I can take it out in sections. So if you know you're only gonna be in and out here, not going up front, I can yank this out. So at the end of the day, if you do have some sand and some dirt in here, it's easy to hose off and clean it. If this gets dirty, it's easy to clean too, but it's just easier to clean if it's a fiberglass floor and you don't have to worry about taking the carpet out to do it. The mechanism for your seat back here is all operated off a single switch here. So just back and forth, you stop it wherever you want, whether you want seating off the back, a sun lounge, or your seating while facing forward. We exit towards the stern. Any small kids or pets on the boat with you, you do have a little door you can close off the stern area to keep everybody inside and safe. But an easy lift and twist opens up, give you nice, easy access off the boat. While you're sitting back here, if you are doing some of that sunset cocktail cruising, there's a little area here that has a cup holder that fits in there. So while you're back here, you can have your drink of choice, iced tea, water, to sit and watch the sunset. Remove it, put your ski toe in here. So if the kids want to go skiing or tubing, you have that option as well. Nice little storage compartment back here too. So if you're at the back of the boat, you have another little cargo netting area here where you can drop some stuff in, have it at your fingertips, know where it is all the time, not have to look for it. And if you are back here, got your stereo on, you don't have to go all the way back to the helm to adjust anything. You do have a remote control on the stern here that you can still control while you're back here on the back of the boat. Change the station, change your volume, whatever you need to do. Nice pop-up cleats. So if you're gonna be moored somewhere at the dock, stay up on their own so you can slide your line underneath, but get them down flush so you won't uh, have them sticking out when you're trying to exit the boat. Also for your convenience, I said six speaker stereo. This one is actually eight because you have two more extra ones in the back here. So when you're sitting off the stern of the boat, there's two more back here. It can be for that or whoever's out here skiing or tubing. You like to listen to music and do water sports, this is the boat for you. Climbing back in from being out doing those water sports or walking the beach. You wanna get salt and sand off of you without bringing it in the boat? I can hose off out here, wash off on the outside of the boat not bring it into the boat. Comes with a nice 10 gallon fresh water capacity, pressure system, hit the button as you need it. When it's empty, doubles as a cell phone. When you're done, nice easy stowage, right back in out of the way. On and off the boat. Nice four step telescoping boarding ladder. Also nice and wide. So easy to climb back in or out after your day of activities. What's nice is it doesn't just fold up on the deck, it folds up underneath the lid on the deck. So when you step on and off the boat, you're actually still walking on a flat surface and not walking on top of that ladder. As we go over the 290 XSS crown line, we were already kind of talking about the windlass. It kind of shows you the top view. When I say through stem, it means it comes through the front or the bow of the boat. It's not anything that's gonna be contained up inside. Your anchor will hang up underneath here, drop down for anchoring, so just nice, ease movement. Don't have to manhandle it because it has a windlass on it. So that's where your anchor is gonna drop through from here. This one also has the uh, LED docking lights. Again, nighttime stuff, coming in from a nighttime cruise, get in your canal, need a little more light, one on each side, three LEDs in each one. Nice, bright area in front of the boat so you can kind of see where you're going at nighttime. As you come down, you kind of get the styling cues. You know, you can see this boat looks fast sitting on the trailer. Got a lot of nice styling cues where it doesn't look like your conventional deck boat or conventional bow rider. Port window, which opens up into the head compartment inside, just to kind of give you a reference where that goes. Again, nice styling cues, nice stainless steel, carbon fiber vent look on the outside. Still sticking with a nice stainless steel crown line logo. You've got vents inside of here, which do give you ventilation inside the boat, but underneath here is also some lights. So again, when you turn on your interior lights, you have some lights underneath here just to kind of give you some ambiance on the outside of the boat while you're out styling on the water at nighttime. Remember we talked about the water that drains from uh, inside on the self-bailing deck. 
it has to go somewhere. Where does it go? It doesn't go inside the boat. self bailing means it goes through those drains and drains overboard. Guess where it comes out? Right here. So those drains in the floor, has a hose attached to it, water flows out of there, exits the boat from here, high enough over the water line, you're not getting water back into it. Besides, this closes off, which doesn't allow water to backtrack into that fitting. Easy water fill. Again, you can see where we talked about your remote control for the stereo. So if you are sitting back here, or even in the water, if I was in the water now, I could swim up here, still reach this if I wanted to change controls so I can listen to my tunes while I'm out here doing my flips. Boat's gonna sit for a while, you just wanna make sure your batteries stay charged. Say you forgot to plug in, uh, or you forgot to shut off your battery switch. You have dead batteries. I can charge them as easily as plugging this into an extension cord. This has a built-in battery charger, so if for some reason your batteries do go dead, you don't have to open that up, climb down in that hole. You can literally pull this out, hook an extension cord to it, and start charging your batteries. You can see those speakers we talked about. You can see the nice non-skid matting they put on the transom. This one has your one piece all the way through, so you're not gonna step inside the splash well. You literally have a walking plank here that you can get from side to side. Your trim tabs, we talked about your electric trim tabs. There they are. There's that good looking 350 Suzuki. I mean, if you get a good shot of that, and you look at the styling of that engine with the styling of that boat and the color combo, I don't know that it gets much better than that. Guys, that was a quick overview of the 2019 290 XSS. This one happens to be sitting here at the Cape Coral location. We also have a location in Naples and in Port Charlotte. Uh, you can check us out on our website, www.boathouseh2o.com. And if you're into social media, you can check us out there as well. Come check us out at the Boathouse. Have a good day.